Well, this third um, third video in this little mini block of videos I've been doing, I'm John Ruffell, um, Living Daily Faith. Um, I'm part of the Celtic Cross Charismatic Community here in UK, which which I lead. I'm spiritual director of it, and basically our mission is simply to uh, evangelize, share the truth. Most of all, to live authentic lives. When the process of assisting other church leaders in uh, in reaching out and allowing the Holy Spirit to guide us into outreach opportunities, into inreach opportunities, where we're reaching into the hearts of people, especially those who've been marginalised. And uh, I'll just share one recent. Uh, example of that we were in south wales our kind of we've got a an ongoing um connection with south wales and we are pursuing evangelism there we've got another trip in the planning stage right now last time we were in south wales uh, we were helping a local evangelist establish a fellowship down there and uh we were speaking and singing and ministering to a group of uh, people with alcohol-related difficulties, um, employment challenges, life-controlling issues. Um, someone didn't smell that savoury. Um, and all of them, very authentic individuals, needing help, needing the love of Jesus. They didn't need being thumped with the Bible. They just needed love. And I'm so thankful that we've got an incredible evangelist down there who literally weeps over these individuals. And there was something that happened. The reason I'm telling you this is because, hey, please do pray for the outreach that we're involved in and for the expansion of the work. But, but because uh, this, we were ministering to these people on these park benches in a village square, one of the shopkeepers came up and talked to our evangelist friend and said, I don't mind the music because we had amplifiers and we were doing a Christian worship there. And she said, I don't mind the music, but I don't want that kind in our marketplace and you're attracting that kind to the marketplace and that incensed our sister uh, and later on she shared with me how distraught she was that these individuals for whom jesus died and loves should be relegated as being frankly the scum of the earth and undesirables in this place, this marketplace, which is a free place for people to gather in, by the way. It's not private property. And as a result of that, she's resolved to go and pastor these individuals, minister to them and sing to them, and teach them some hymns and be there for them each week. And I think that's quite remarkable. Um, yeah, I think I can share this. There was one particular chap who, when I met at the bus stop, who'd been listening to our music when we were down there, and she bumped into him, and he was in terrible mess. Um, he obviously had some kind of virus. He was streaming phlegm all over his face and when I went to the washroom and got tissues and came back and lovingly cleansed this man's face with her own hands and I tell you that convicted me because I'm not sure if I would have done that that's the level of commitment we have or well, I'm privileged to be a part of should I say in South Wales, and I know that Jesus is there 
in that kind of act of love, selfless, self-giving love without any desire for any payment, nothing, but for Jesus to minister to these people who the rest of society considers to be scum of the earth and outcasts. And these are the people that Jesus died for. And I was one of them. Brother or sister, you, whether you know it or not, you were one of them too without Christ. Because without Christ, we have no hope. With Christ, there's always hope. In Christ, the love of Jesus is expressed when we reach out in love and faith. So pray for each other and pray for me too. That, that I mean, I'm convicted by that testimony personally myself. And I'm so thankful for, for what I'm seeing in Wales, what I'm seeing amongst people that God has brought me together with, so blessed. And uh, when I go and worship God, we had this morning a service of the word and Holy Communion a beautiful service led by our local deacon. Thank you, Deacon Bill. A wonderful service, a midweek service. And, you know, when I attend services like that, it's just so great to be in the presence of Jesus, quiet. The concerns of the world are left behind. We can re-energize and be strengthened in the inner man so that we can go out into the world and love unconditionally within the boundaries that the Bible sets, of course, but to love unconditionally the people who the world thinks are unlovely. So on that note, I'm going to leave you. John Ruffle here. Thank you so much for watching today. You are blessed.